Brianna Sorensen here at USTA in the beautiful Orlando, Florida, where we just saw the American men's tennis quarterfinals and women's semifinals. Let's catch you up on who survived and advanced. The day kicked off with our men's quarterfinals. To start our Friday morning, SMU and Tulsa, a match that lasted three and a half hours. These teams are the definition of pure competition. The Mustangs got the early lead, taking the doubles point, but then singles was a back and forth affair. The battle ended with Julian Steinhausen's three set win to lead the Mustangs to a four to two victory. Next up, Memphis and Temple. The Owls took the doubles point, but the Tigers were ready to claw their way back in singles, receiving points on courts one, four, five, and six. Memphis will be heading to the semifinals with a four to two victory over Temple. To start our second set of matches for the day, Tulane and Wichita State. The Shockers got on the board first, winning the doubles point, but the Green Wave was ready to battle it out in singles, rain or shine. After an hour rain delay and a match that went down to the wire, Tulane's Luca Petty Petrovich delivered back-to-back -back points to close out a 4-3 win for the Green Wave. Our last men's quarterfinal match of the day, the war on I-4, the Knights taking on the Bulls. UCF applied pressure early, earning the doubles point, but singles was quite the thriller, going down to the wire. But the Knights ended victorious with a 4-3 victory to take them to the semifinals. To open up our women's semifinal play, SMU and Tulsa. After the Mustangs won the doubles point, they continued to put their foot on the gas heading into singles. Hadley Doyle and Taylor Johnson contributed wins in both singles and doubles to push their team to a 4-0 sweep to advance to the championship. Our last match of the day, UCF and Memphis. Yet another sweep for the Knights. Sophia Baile, Jalisa Leslie, and Anique Kattenberg were winners in both singles and doubles to lead the Knights. You don't want to miss this championship. The stage is set for SMU to take on UCF Saturday at 4 Eastern on ESPN+. To stay updated on both tennis championships, make sure to check out theamerican.org. For The American, I'm Brianna Sorensen.